catastrophic landfall from Melissa is imminent. And no, there can't be a Category 6 because after this Category 5 makes landfall in the next few minutes, there's nothing left. After a catastrophe, after the homes are gone, after everything's washed away, when there's nothing, no structures, the western side of the island gets wiped clean. When that happens, you can't get worse than that. Catastrophe. That's what it means. That's why the scale only goes up to a 5. So while this storm right now is testing the laws of physics, it is a Category 5 with 175 mile per hour sustained wind, 200 mile per hour wind gust, at least. And that's an average from the National Hurricane Center, the hurricane hunters going in and measuring the storm. Okay, just an average. So you've got numbers higher than that. And what is happening on the ground right now is the hurricane force wind is going to miss Kingston and it's going to hit Montego Bay, Black River, and down to the south Okay, of Montego Bay on the western side. Let's take a look at it right now on the forecast maps here. I'll show you this in more detail. Here is the center of the storm in the last frame right here. Right over here is Montego Bay. I've been there. Wonderful place. Kingston, also a wonderful place. But here, notice here, Kingston, you're on the outer edge of the hurricane force wind. In Kingston, you don't get the ca catastrophic Category 5 wind because the storm is coming in on the western side. Because of yesterday, it's stopping in the Caribbean Sea and getting all that fuel from the Caribbean Sea. Very deep, very warm water, okay? But also what's happened to the storm is in the troposphere, energy is it's breathing very well. It's getting a lot of energy from way up in the sky, 20, 30,000 feet. It is just blowing up with all of this moisture right now and also the, the convection going on. This is all thunderstorm activity around the storm here on the satellite picture, okay? Just a huge storm by way of obviously a hurricane, but for a Category 5 and hurricane force wind, they, those winds don't extend out very far, okay? So this is not a saving grace. This will be a catastrophe, but the entire island is not going to see level five, category five catastrophic winds from this storm. Remember, this is not from climate change, the storm. This is a natural occurrence here. And I want to show it to you in more detail what it looks like when you get here. A category one storm, okay, you're starting to see some, some breeze, right? This is why when I was in Louisiana, people didn't make a big deal out of Category 1s because not a lot of damage is happening here. But still, you're getting up around 95 miles per hour, so there certainly could be significant damage. But it's more localized right around the core, right around where that landfall is at a Category 1. Now, let me put the map into motion and show you what happens here at a Category 2. It's still not a major. You're starting to see some shingles come off the roof. And then at Category 3, you get to a major. This is when it gets intense. The trees start coming down. The roof starts getting peeled off. And then when you get to a Category 4, you are at extreme levels of damage. The house is now gone. The trees are snapping. And here it is. This is catastrophe. Category 5. There is nothing left. That's what's going to happen to Jamaica. I'll blow it up so you can see it uh, clearer. That's what's going to happen on the western side of the island in the next few minutes and hours. There's going to be nothing left of the western side because of catastrophe. So on the visible satellite, you're going to see that the eye pop up here, right here. This is visible satellite show. It shows what the naked eye can see. And there it is, the worst possible scenario for Jamaica as the storm is carving its own path. When storms get this strong, they decide where they want to go, okay? Uh, the steering currents become less important and it becomes really where does this storm want to go? Kind of think about it like a bully in a schoolyard. This storm says, no, I'm going to go where I want to go and it's up to me to do what I want to do because this storm is now become the alpha. It is deciding, okay, I have stopped last night in the Caribbean Sea, fueled up, continue to get stronger, to get stronger. The pressure keeps dropping and now it's saying, I want to go to the western side of the island. Yes, there are steering currents to the north and west, but that trough to the north and west has weakened, and now they, they basically there's an exit strategy for this storm to go north. So hurricanes, tropical systems, what they want to do is they want to take latent heat from the equator to the pole. So in this case, the northern hemisphere from basically the equator to the North Pole, which is what this is going to do. You'll see it here very clearly. It's taking that latent heat to the north. There it goes. 
in the next several days this week, the storm is going to miss the U.S., thankfully, but it is going to run over places like Jamaica, Cuba, and part of the Bahamas, and even Bermuda. Okay, so I'll take a look at that in more detail now for you. I want to show you the latest details. Here is the official track from the Hurricane Center. Now, the tropical storm force wind, because it hasn't gone over, this is tropical storm force, all of this. So the island of Jamaica has been under tropical storm force wind for a while. Hurricane force wind is just starting to come on shore right now on the western side. But if you take this and you extrapolate this forecast out of where the storm is, because it's not going to go through an ERC. It's not going to have an eyewall replacement cycle, which means the storm is not going to get bigger. The wind field won't get bigger. Okay, it's also not going to get weaker. It's still getting stronger because the eyewall has not been replaced. But if you put this out, this puts Kingston just on the outer edges of hurricane force wind. On the outer edge, you don't get the really dangerous, obviously, wind here of uh, right here, hurricane force of 74 mile per hour wind. So here, tropical storm force, hurricane force, and then around that, a smaller area around that is where you have your category five you know, catastrophic wind. And that is definitely going to miss Jamaica um, right now. So once again, Jamaica is spared from the worst, but you're still going to get a tremendous amount of flooding. You're going to get storm surge and even tornadoes on the southeast side. The northeast quadrant, the northeast quadrant of, of the hurricane is where you get the worst storm surge. Okay. Now, the latest update from the Hurricane Center shows it right now. This is as of a few minutes ago, as of the eight o'clock in the morning update, Wind 175, okay, um, moving northeast at seven miles an hour. So it's gone from being nearly stationary to now going to the northeast. So this is that turn towards the north that we've been waiting for. Pressure is down to 901. That makes it one of the top five strongest um, landfalling hurricanes in the Atlantic Basin. Remember, the Atlantic Basin includes the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, and then the Gulf, right? I won't say whether it's Gulf of Mexico or Gulf of America. You decide. That's up to you. I'm not getting into the politics here. We just do weather. This is not a political channel. Okay, so this storm is moving towards the northeast. There, and right there, there it is. You can see it on the satellite picture as the storm comes on shore. And there is the very clear and well-defined eye. And any time you have a storm that looks this clear and has this well-defined, that signals potentially catastrophe. When, when Mother Nature is at her worst, it looks perfect. That in weather terms, in meteorology, it can't look worse than that when things look perfect. That basically means things are going to be absolutely devastating because the storm looks perfect. So there is that northeast turn as the storm is fueling on all cylinders right now. Now, if you look closer at Jamaica, okay, and I'll show you here, you can see where the landfall is going to be projected. So somewhere here around the Black River and Treasure Beach, if it continues that northeast turn, okay, so that means that the Storm Surge Alligator Pond, Portland Cottage, Milk River will be tremendous, okay? But Kingston would get the least amount of wind possible considering what's happening right now. And then Montego Bay would be on the edge there of getting that category five, at least a category four or a category five. But really it comes down to here. And I've walked up the river uh, in Jamaica, beautiful place, but it is going to be completely redone, reshaped here. And the falls here going to be completely redone by this hurricane. Okay. So on the, on the Northwest side here, Cousins Cove, Orange Bay, West End. Okay. If this storm continues on the Northeast side, then this area here could just barely escape the Category 5. Once again, the Category 5, the catastrophic okay, wind, is not going to extend that far out, but it is, and it's going to continue to push towards the northeast. Remember, this storm is going to take that latent heat from the pole, I'm sorry, from the equator and pull it north. That's the job of this hurricane, and it will continue to do that in the next several hours here. So, Godspeed to everyone there. Uh, prayers for everyone that's trying to ride this storm out. But this is going to be a level of storm that Jamaica has never seen. Okay, you think back to Gilbert, you think back to Category 4. That's the worst that Jamaica has seen is a Category 4. This is going to be not just a 5, which is bad as it is at 156 miles an hour. 
This is a extremely strong five. People would say a six, but you can't have a six because once you get to 156 miles an hour of wind damage, there is nothing left on the western side of the island. So that's why you can't have a category six. It is impossible. There will never be a category six because of that reason that I just stated. It is going to be a storm that will take months, years, and if not longer before anyone can, can pick up the pieces and rebuild. And hopefully there is no loss of life or at the very least limited loss of life from anyone in the path of this storm.